Good morning, everybody. I am back today to show you guys how I do another ponytail. Um, if you can't tell, I'm a huge ponytail person, um, especially now that I have long hair and I am able to. Um, I find for summer, especially, we work all day. Like it's we have blow dryers going. We have it's just hot. Um, we have a huge window, which we absolutely love, but a lot of uh, sun comes in, so which creates a lot of heat, um, especially now with Kaylee and I both working together. Um, we've got two blow dryers going, so it's even extra hot. So in the summer, I typically love ponytails. <laughs> so it's coming up with ideas of ways to do ponytails that um, they're always different and they always still look done. Um, even though it's in a ponytail, I still want it to look good. I don't want it to look like I just threw it into a ponytail and that was it. Um, so today I'm going to do, I have a really high neck on, so when I wear a high neck I like to wear, or put my hair like up, and with this specific shirt I kind of was going for more of like a sleek look. Um, sleek, but I'm still going to do a little pop of fun. So this is our Flow Heat Protector Spray, um, it's called Radiant Armor. It also creates a lot of shine, so I am just spraying my pony first and I'm creating a twist right from the root all the way down to the ends. Um, once I have that twist, I'm simply going to wrap it around as a bun and then pin. So I, again, only need like two pins. Um, I'm just using that tail there and pinning that tail down um, so that will hold that and then I have my bangs here which I am growing out as I know a lot of you already know from watching my video um, so it's always trying to find something that works with my bangs um, but this is gonna work in my favor so I'm actually gonna create a little bit of interest through here so I'm using my flat iron and I am just creating a bend slash curl slash wave in the hair so I will show you again slowly I'm grabbing little sections, I'm clamping my iron, and I'm twisting backwards and all the way around. Okay, and I'm coming all the way through. I broke this into three sections. Um, you can do it in one, you can do it in two. Just use your judgment on, um, on what you think for that specific section and area that you are going to pop out. Okay. So. Now that I have that curled, I am going to find a way to place this so that it looks good. So again, I'm here all day. Wednesdays is my long day. I'm not going to post this today. I find it easier actually to not post the same day only because I have to get it uploaded on YouTube and um, well, let's be honest, in here it's way too busy for me to do that. So. I am just going to find a way to, I still want height, I don't want it to be super, super, super sleek, but I want um, texture and I want it to just look fun. That was kind of my point, super sleek on the one side and then super fun on the other side. Sorry, I feel like I need a mirror, not a pillow. Okay. So once I kind of have it where I want it. I'm going to grab that extra tail that was there and I'm going to grab a pin. I then open up my pin like so. I put it right on my scalp and I am pushing in so that the pin is completely hidden. And then I am spraying so that it is where I want it. So something like that. That might look a little messy for some and that's okay. Um, that's the case grab another pin same open it like this grab the hair that you want to maybe tuck in put it on the scalp and push in um, and that completely hides it and then I like sub out so after it's pinned I just pull a few loose pieces out and I don't like that piece so I'll just use another pin there so again I will get up and I will show you guys the back so a tight ponytail first where are we here I don't even know if the 
sun's not really working in our favor, but a tight, tight ponytail first, and then um, the front pieces with my bangs. I created a wave with the flat iron, and then kind of just pinned stuff pieces wherever I wanted. But at least this way, my ponytail looks like it was supposed to be like this. Um, it looks more finished. It looks, you know, sleek on one side, and then finished on the other side. And fun. Still has some interest, still shows off my pops of pink. Um, so this is three shampoos now from when I first did the pink. So it's a super cute peachy little color. Um, by next shampoo, it will more than likely be totally out. Um, but really quickly, I just wanted to talk to you guys about one thing. Now that you guys have all seen my videos, I'm sure you all have seen my scar. Um, so I had basal cell carcinoma skin cancer and I got it when I was 25. So that is a type of skin cancer that typically comes from sun, um, sun exposure, sun t like beds, um, something like that. It usually takes about 10 years to form. So I more than likely got it when I was 15, 16 years old. Um, and at that time in high school, I was huge into tanning beds. Um, I also was huge into being tanned in general. Um, so that is what that scar is for because it is so obvious and I know you probably all are wondering. I know a lot of you already know about that, especially my clients. Um, I do feel as a hairstylist it's important for us to point things out to you guys that you guys might not actually see. Um, so areas in the scalp, areas in the ear, around the ears, the hairline. Um, I have had a few clients who we have pointed out spots to. They have had them looked at. Um, a few unfortunately were something. They were also basal cell carcinoma. Um, one was something else and a few have been nothing, but I do feel as our job it is important for us to Talk to you guys and show you guys and just point them out because you might not see them um, They're very common in the hairline, especially at the ears um, Neck top of the shoulders areas that people typically miss when putting on sunscreen. So I wear sunscreen every single day um, on my face. I don't use it on my body every day unless I'm going to be outside, but I have three different sunscreens at home. I have one that is a daily moisturizer, which is what I put on every day. Um, I think it's just SPF 15 or 20. Um, and then I also have one from Lise Watier, which is in a BB cream form, um, and it is SPF 25, and that I will wear um, if I'm not working and I'm not putting makeup on, um, but at least it's just kind of blending everything in for me. And then I have one that I use, which is 45, um, and that is if I'm actually going to be outdoors um, with my kids. I put that on and I also do put that on my whole body as well. Um, I always have a hat on if I'm going to be out in the sun. Um, and what's so important with that is hair color. Um, so that was kind of what made me bring up this point of my scar and the fact that I'm sure you all have noticed and wondered what it was. Um, so we have this one product from Davinus. If you are not a hat user, but you want to protect your hair um, color from fading, um, or just your hair in general, the sun is so damaging. It's a natural bleach, obviously. Um, so it can be very damaging to your hair. So Davinus has created an entire line geared to sun protection for the hair. Um, this is specifically my favorite from the line, um, as well as our hair and body wash, but that I can talk about a different day. Um, this is sun milk and it is a spray. So all you do is spray your hair. Um, you can use it wet hair as a styling aid so that it's protected all day. You can use it on dry hair. You can use it anytime, anywhere. Um, it does have that protection, which obviously is the most important thing um, for your hair color, but it also detangles, um, keeps the hair easy, manageable. So let's say I had my hair like this and I was leaving and I was going to the beach with my kids. Um, I would bring this with me in my bag and I would literally spray my whole head. I would have a hat on so I wouldn't be doing that. But if I didn't have a hat for whatever reason, I would definitely want to protect my hair. Um, so I would spray this on my hair dry and um, yeah, that's it. So they have a whole line, but this is kind of an essential I feel for summer. Um, if you don't wear a hat, make sure you have sunscreen on all the time. It is so important. I did not think I would ever get skin cancer. My doctor even didn't think she's, when I first was got it, I was 25 or 24 even. So she's like, oh no, you're too young for it to be skin cancer, but let's get it referred. Like let's send you out for a referral to a dermatologist anyways to get it tested. 
Um, so I was shocked when I found out it was, um, as was she actually. So sun protection is key, especially in these hot, hot summer days. Um, so that's my rant of the day. <laughs> and um, hopefully you guys all are enjoying your summer and you're all having a blast with your kids or by yourself, on the patio, drinking beer, whatever it is you guys are doing. Um, keep doing it. And I uh, will talk to you guys soon. Thanks.